All right, so in your design business, you offer three different plans. You have unlimited designs, unlimited illustrations, as well as an unlimited package that is a combination of both that you offer for cheaper. I'm going to show you how to set this up so it's completely automated and you don't have to worry about any of the day-to-day -day tasks other than getting out the designs to your clients. On your website, you're going to have something similar to this where you have a buy now button or a sign up button for all your different plans. Once your client proceeds to click on any of these, it's going to take them into an SPP order form. This is where you set up all of your services to be sold to your client and collect any of the static information such as their name, payment method, address, etc. As you can see here, we have a checkbox that's going to allow your client to get a 20% discount simply by subscribing annually. If we click on that using some rules that I've set up, it's going to swap these services out for the annual version of these services, as simple as that. So let's say your client wants to subscribe to the unlimited annual package to save himself 20% off. We're going to go ahead and do that for this order form. I've pre-filled some information to make the checkout faster, so let's just walk you through the process. If I click on complete purchase over here, it's going to take me into a thank you screen that is an intermediary screen between the order form and the invoice. Once the payment goes through, they're taken to an invoice similar to this one where it gives them a summary of everything they've purchased as well as any other information that is necessary. This is completely customizable on your backend if you'd like to change it. After that, your client is able to click on continue to portal where they're able to immediately fill in an intake form as you can see over here. This intake form is configured into all of your services to ask for any information required on a project to project basis. Your clients can access a new intake form and make a new request by clicking on new request on top. Let's walk you through this process really quickly as well. All right, now that I've filled in some example information, this is what it's going to look like for your client. Once they've finished filling in all of the fields, they can click on review, make sure that all of the information they provided was accurate, and then click on start order. This takes their order from the pending to the submitted status, where on the admin side, you would have to change this into working once you've started working on the request. Within an order like this, your client is able to see all of the project data that they have submitted. They're also able to chat with you so that you would receive a message whenever they send you one. Let me give you a quick walkthrough of what the client portal is able to do and what kind of services your clients are able to access from here. First, they're able to see a summary of all of their orders as well as subscriptions on their main page and they're also able to make a new request directly from up here. They can also top up balance in case they would like to pay with balance. If we go into orders, you can see a list of all of the orders that they have and their statuses on top over here. If they go into services, they're able to make a purchase of any other service, which can of course be hidden if you'd like to make sure that they do not subscribe to multiple subscriptions at the same time. If we go into tickets, you're able to see that your client's able to submit a new ticket at any point where they can ask for your help. Once your client submits a ticket of this sort, it shows a notification on the admin side and also allows you to respond to them within here. This is actually an email conversation, but the system takes it and structures it as a chat. So you're able to respond from email and they're also able to respond from email and all the messages would show up over here. Your client's also able to review all of their invoices and their statuses. They're also able to go into subscriptions where you can allow them to self-service if, if you would like, and they would be able to upgrade or downgrade their package accordingly. Your client's also able to see their profile and change any information they need or upload a picture if they would like, or manage notifications up to their own preferences. They can also manage their payment method right over here. If they need to add one or delete one, this is where they would do that. If you set up the affiliate module, there's also a commissions tab over here where your client can copy this link and send it to their friends to make sure that they make purchases and they get credited for it. Let's really quickly jump to the admin side where I can show you what this looks like for you. Now that we're on the admin side, if I go ahead and navigate to orders, you'll be able to see this example order that I just made. If we navigate inside, you'll be able to see all of the relevant information for you, such as the subscription ID, how much it costed the client, where they made this purchase from, as well as all of the project data listed over here and any messages that they send down here. Within this order or tickets in general, you're going to have a pinned note on top over here that you can leave for your team. You can say any information that needs to be delivered and pinned to the top as well as a message team button over here that allows you to send messages directly to your team and even at team members if they need to check this order out. In case you have a flow where there are different team members that need to do different things, you can also finish your part and then go ahead and assign the project to somebody else for them to have a look. This will give them a notification as well as show their face next to the order when they go into the orders menu. Another thing that is worth mentioning is if you have a lot of steps included in every design process, you can add tasks into your services. This would show a list of tasks on top of the project data over here that you can check mark every time you complete a task and it shows the same for all of your other team members as well. Let me show you how we've configured all of what you've just seen. Basically what I've done here is I've set up two different folders for unlimited monthly and unlimited annual. In these folders, you're able to see the services that we saw earlier, earlier on the order forms. If we go into any of these services, you'll be able to see that this is the configuration that we have set up. You've entered your description over here, you've entered the price here, and you've made sure that the client is able to make new requests as they need them. Also, if you would like, you're able to automatically assign this to a specific team member if they're responsible for this kind of service. 
Another option that is important is the visibility of this service. Disabling this checkbox over here would make sure that the service does not show up when your client navigates to the services page. If we go into the intake form here, you'll be able to see that this is the intake form that I filled in our earlier example. And you can easily copy this form into all of your other services using this button. So you only have to set up the intake form once if your services have the same intake form. Next, let me show you the setup of the order form that we went through earlier when I was showing you the example. Here you can see how I've set up the order form that we went through earlier. We have two different option groups to contain the services that we are offering named as unlimited packages and unlimited annual to make sure that both of these options are available for the client. As you can see, I've added a checkbox over here as well to save 20% on annual billing. The way that this works is we have rules that you can set up. We have tutorials on our website if you'd like to know more, but the simple idea is that if this checkbox is not checked, then we would hide the annual version of these services. And if the checkbox is checked, we would hide the unlimited packages, which are the monthly version of these services. It's important to also notice that we only have the name and the email field over here. Actually, the only required fields are the email field, the payment method, as well as some kind of service container. As long as one of each of these is present, all of the other fields are optional. However, you do have the option to add any of these fields, as you can see over here, with also some flexibility, considering that you can add some custom HTML or page breaks if you'd like to have multiple pages. Another valuable thing for you might be the help desk module that we have available on our basic plan and above. This allows your client to quickly send you tickets, as I've shown earlier in my demonstration. They can either do this from within their client portal, or they can email you directly on here, and it's going to show up as a ticket right over here. Tickets are very similar to orders, however, they do not have any order information, as these are requests for help most of the time. Your client can also use the system to reach out to you in case they want to change their plan and you haven't enabled self-servicing. As design agencies are a perfect fit to work with SPP, it's actually pretty simple to get yourself started. Simply go to spp.co slash trial to start one for yourself and start experimenting with our dashboard. If you need any help, you can reach out to us directly by emailing support at spp.co or going to settings and clicking on contact support. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you have an awesome day.